Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Um, you should already know it's about 1, well, 12.51. So when I come in at this time in the morning, <laughs> it's always a surprise to me as well. Um, I actually was getting ready to go to bed. And God said, no, you're not. I need you to do a live. And of course, you know, who am I to tell God no? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And this live is going to be very, very powerful. Um, they all are, anything is powerful when God is leading it. Let's be honest, hallelujah, we're not that great. And so I really need you to go ahead, tag, share now, because I got so much to talk about. Uh, I'm getting the scriptures ready. Um, if you read the um, title, let me go ahead and tell you what thus said the Lord. Whew, I saw it myself, and I knew this was coming sooner or later because I've been seeing it for a long time, and I don't even know how to say it, but just to be point blank to the point and say what does say the Lord. But first, I want to read a scripture out of 1 Timothy 3, 3 through 8, and this is the King James Version, and this is what it says. Not given to wine, nor striker, nor greedy, or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given much to wine, not greedy or filthy lucre. And go ahead and just let me tell you what God say. These false prophets, false preachers and teachers, I'm going to tell you right now, they're doing it for money. I was scrolling through Facebook, and that's what I've been doing lately. I, I get on here and I jump off because some of the stuff really breaks my heart, just to be honest with you. A lot of them are just doing it for the money. Let me tell you something. I'm about to go see So Deep tonight. I, I Well, you know, I don't care if nobody get offended. Let's be honest. As long as I don't lie, right? If it's God, it's God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. First of all, God never told us to get out of the attire. I'm talking about the robe. Everybody's dressing nice. They look like models. I'm sorry. They don't look like preachers and teachers. I'm sorry, because someone that really loves the Lord, I'm not saying you got to look all normal. If you want to do whatever you want to do, that's fine. You want to wear makeup, you want to do that, I get it. But let me tell you something. People tired. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the living God. People are tired. They want to know who know God. Come on, somebody. They want to know who been in the presence of God. People tired of them lies. People tired of people faking. Oh, come on, somebody. And you can feel it. But I'm going to tell you something right now. A lot of people don't have wisdom and discernment. So let me go ahead and tell you what foot filter lucre mean. And I mean, when I heard this, I knew what time it was. They profit line, what they ain't doing right now, just to be honest with you. And I have to say, it, we live in a system to where people love to have it. So nobody won't talk about um, sin. Nobody won't talk about repent. Nobody won't talk about getting it right. People love to talk about blessings and money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And and guess what? If they feel you don't got it, they don't want to talk to y'all. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me tonight. But let me go ahead and tell you what filter lucre means because God wanted me to tell you that as well. And why my phone want to act crazy, but that's all right. Oh, the devil is a lie. Oh, I get up out of here. Say, all right. Filter lucre means money originally, money obtained dishonestly. For example, she didn't like the job, but loved the filter lucre in the form of her weekly paycheck. This current times comes from the Bible. Even in Titus 1, 1, it says where he refers to those who teach wrongly for the sake of money. Can I tell you something? I'm not even going to mention her name. There are a lot of well-known ones on there, on here, on Facebook, and they they preach. I mean, they teach, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't I can't listen to just anybody. I'm going here. I live this thing. If you knew me personally, I live this thing. Not trying to gloat, not trying to act like I, I live this thing. So you don't understand. I live like a hermit. Per God. Because when you're a real prophet for real, you can't go where you want to go. You can't do what you want to do. You can't talk how you want to talk. You can't be who you Y'all ain't ready for me. God keeps you. It, it's like exclusion. And, and I know why. Because like I'm like a radar. So when I feel something or see something, y'all don't hear me. I'm talking about I could be walking this way. I'll turn around and say, and just look. Because God is teaching me. God is telling me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is a dangerous time to play with God. People are dying without God. And I know they're teaching, once saved, always saved. Y'all, that's not true. 
You have to have a relationship with God. I don't care even if you are a prophet, even if you are a preacher and a teacher, you better be in right standing with God. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. And I mean every day, God praying, God, is there anything in me that's not right? Show me God. Teach me. Oh, Father God, show me the way because we need him every day. I'm going to take you on a journey and I got to take you on my journey so you can understand how other people are doing it. I know if you've been following me a long time, then you have seen me go through this and go through that. Let me tell y'all something about a real prophet. And the reason why I'm going to take you on my journey, because that's all I know is about my journey. Now, I do know when people are lying or, or misguiding people, and that's what they're doing, especially on Facebook, y'all. They're hooking and crooking and looking. I'm telling you right now. Okay, if you've been following me, when I first started prophesying, which was at in 2014 on here, but I've been a prophet since I was 27. But God had been teaching me, teaching me. He let some people take me along the way. The prophet Juanita Bynum, Bishop McClarence McClinton, Pastor Goodot, come on somebody, Pastor Yancey, I can name you a quite a few. My first spiritual mentors, Mike and Yvonne Lambert out of Atlanta, Georgia, but in a 1980, what, seven or six, something like that. Let me tell y'all something. So it's been, it's been up and down and I couldn't understand it because God was teaching me what to do and what not to do. That is so why, oh, I'm finna go here. I'm finna go here for some of you prophets that's on here. That is why I miss this sometimes because God wanted me to know you can't do this without me, Deanna. Hallelujah to his name. You can't preach without me. You can't teach without me. You can't prophesy without me. So don't do it. Hello. Get, don't get beside yourself. That's how I missed it that time when I said, and, and I'm going to go here. When I said there wasn't going to be an election. I was so indulged with what God has showed me about President 44. I got, I, I got, I got in it. I can't say I didn't hear God, but I went before God. I don't mind saying it because you need to hear the truth. Hallelujah. So if you, if you look at my stance now, I'm slow to speak and I, and I make sure, okay, double confirmation. And, and what I learned as a prophet, don't get too emotional. Don't, don't be too stern. Don't, don't, don't be too this. Don't, don't, you have to have a balance. So I had to learn it and still learning as we speak. Hallelujah to his name. People have not learned that because most people, they're just running out there. They're not even, they're not even processed. Yeah, they, they might even know how to preach, teach, and even prophesy. But because they're not processed, they're messing up people left and right. I'm talking about pastors, preachers, for that food, filthy lucre. Because this is what's happening in the body of Christ today. If you don't look blessed, if you don't have a big church, if you don't have money, if you don't have this, then you are not called. The devil is a liar. Continue on my journey. I ain't had nothing, still don't have everything, truth be told, and I'm going to tell you why. I was trying to do it like I saw everybody else do it. Well, I need a church, I need this. God said, yeah, the prophets, what prophets had churches? That's why y'all don't see me with the church, so I stopped that when I was like, okay, that's not what he said. Listening to people and trying to show everybody, I'm blessed, look at me, I'm really blessed. Because at one point, I was like, God, am I am I really an apostle? Am I really a prophet? I ain't got nothing. People, people asking questions, doing this. You know, I'm having to ask for money. Oh, I'm telling it all tonight. Hallelujah. Because you need to hear the truth. God said, Dan, I'm going to show you how to do it my way. Come on, walk with me some more. I said, okay. Tried to work because people was like, well, maybe you should go to work. I have some child body challenges. That didn't work. So then I finally just said, I said well, I'm going around in circles, listening to people, listening to myself. I say, God, show me. He said, Deanna, your gifts will make room for you. What do you love to do? What is your passion? I said, cooking. He said, that's what you went to school for, right? He, and I, now you got to listen to everything I'm getting ready to say because everything ties in in what I'm saying. So I said, okay, God, I still don't understand because I'm still looking at everybody else. I'm talking about all these big ministries and this and that. He said, I want you to do it different because I'm, I'm a God of different. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. He said, how did the apostles do it? I said, God, they paid their own way. Listen to what I'm saying. They did not beg for money. They did not break the backs of people of God. They did not beg for money. I'm going to say it again. They did not, okay, you got to do this. You got to give me 20000 You got to give me 40000 They never did that. So then I started getting it. I said, God, wait a minute. That's what you've been trying to tell me. My gift will make room for me, meaning that you want me to work for mine. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Most of these preachers are, have, are teaching people that you got to preach for it. That means that I got to get up on here and say, come on, I got a thousand of y'all. Y'all supposed to give a thousand dollars right now. That is a lie before God. That is not of God. That is not the way it is done. Hallelujah to his name. 
because that's why people are missing it. And, and now you got people giving stuff that they can't even really afford to give. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got people. I have seen where people lost houses. I've seen this one brother gave away his car and, and he, he lost his job because ain't God, God didn't tell him to give away his car. But he was so brainwashed. Come on, somebody. If you were, if you're walking on my journey. So now I got it. I said, God, wait a minute. The gospel is free. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. So if the gospel is free, then the people of God need to be free. Y'all ain't ready for me. But he said, y'all love to have it. So it's just like when King Saul, they said, we don't have a king. We don't have a king. And God said, Jesus Christ is the king. I'm king. You all understand what I'm saying. And so he said, I'm going to give you a king. And look what King Saul did. And then, then they showed, then God showed him that even King Saul was not even right from day one. He never listened to God. I'm going somewhere. We have a people and a generation right now in the church that don't listen to God. And y'all love to have it so. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm not saying that there were times that God didn't tell me to ask. I didn't say that God didn't, that we're not supposed to sow. I didn't say that we're not supposed to tithe. I didn't say that we're not supposed to ten, give 10%. But some of you don't understand. You're not supposed to sow into just anything and anybody. That is a covenant. Money is a covenant. And some of you have made covenant with wolves. Some of you have made covenant with people with the filthy lucre. And you wonder why that you can't really, you can't really, what was going on? I'm tithing. I'm doing everything. Because you have a covenant with somebody that God never told you to have a covenant with. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't see what's going on. It's a full, it's coming back full circle around. Full circle around. God is raising up his remnant. And God is putting in order every lie of the devil. Every lie of the enemy. And they don't like it. Oh, they're not going to like it. I'm telling you. Because let me tell you else what's going on. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. The reason why some of you are coming out of those churches is because they're going to close the churches. But before they close them, God going to send some of you back in there and say, Thus say it, the Lord, you are a liar. Close this church. You are a liar. Start, stop stealing from God's people. You are adulterer. Stop it. You are a fornicator. Stop it. Because they're preaching and they are not holy, says the Lord. So now all that stuff is just going around in the church. Because here's the deal. The anointing of God falls from the head down. So if the head is sick, the body is sicker. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah to his name. <laughs> I go to certain churches. And when I walk in, I can actually feel it. I can feel the sin. I can feel everything. That's why I don't go to, to a lot of churches. No. Mm -mm. I only go when God gives me an assignment. So, oh, I'm about to mess somebody up. If you see me in your church, you should know you dirty. You ain't ready for me. You should know you dirty. And I'm looking to see if it's true. And then I'm asking God, is this my assignment or is the prophet of this house? Because every house has a prophet. Whether they acknowledge you or not, every house have a prophet. Now, here's the deal. These pastors don't want to listen to the prophets of today because if they do, then they have to do what the prophets say because guess what? You are the mouthpiece of God and that is a word from the Lord. So if I don't acknowledge you as a prophet, then I don't acknowledge the word of God. I can keep doing my dirt. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Preaching and teaching and prophesying for filthy lucre. There are, oh, I got to say it, y'all. And ain't nobody jealous because let me tell you something. The stuff they doing. Oh, I'm 50 years old. Let me tell you why I preach so radical and I don't care. And, and you'd be surprised. You'd be trying to put me in fear. Oh, you ain't scared to say that? I'm a woman on borrowed time. The stuff I did back in my past, which y'all don't know about, some of you do, I ain't even supposed to be here. I thought it was six times. Then God had to remind me I saved you eight times. I'm talking about death right here. Don't even know how I'm alive today. So you think I care about what somebody say, what somebody do? I am worried about Jesus the Christ. Now, hallelujah to his name. So I'm going to tell the truth up in here tonight. They lying up here. Most of the ones that you follow. Oh, I'm about to mess them up tonight. Most of the ones that are popular on here, I promise you. They're not as known as you think. They have the gift to gab. It's almost like a witchcraft spirit. Have you ever been wooed? Oh, y'all ain't ready. Have you ever been wooed? Because that's what it is. Because when you start prophesying, it's a spirit of witchcraft that comes up on you. And now it's divination. Don't play with me. I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. As soon as I listen to them, and some of y'all, y'all used to send them in my pop box. And I said, don't send that to me. Don't send that to me. Tell about this one real, this one real. You already know if you have to ask. Most of them up here is not real. 
They were. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. They started out really loving God. But the more y'all put them hearts up, oh, come on, somebody, the more y'all gave them money, oh, they turned into Saul. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's why I don't let y'all. I love y'all. God bless you. But I don't let nobody make me think that I'm too great or, or, or even the blessings. Oh, no, 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 no. He gets the glory. Hallelujah. Because whenever you start thinking that you're all that, you got to understand that now you're talking about the spirit of witchcraft, divination, not pride, not greedy. Can I tell you something? One spirit does not operate alone because when you have one spirit, then now cousins are attached. So now you're old. You don't hear what I'm saying. Now you're messing with 20, 30 demons. And now the person is possessed. And now you're listening to the person. What do you think what happens? Because airwaves mean spirits. That's why ain't nobody and everybody could preach to me. I'm sorry. Y'all be surprised who I who I listen to. Miles Monroe. Um, be honest with you, every now and then T D Jakes, he has some good ones. But I but when I hear Joe Osteen, I go turn it off. I don't want everything in my spirit and and I don't listen to a lot of people. Not to like, not to say I'm all that, but uh, thank you, Lord. I'm familiar with the spirit of God, so if I don't hear it, I'm shutting it down. Cause I, I, my spirit got to have the real thing. Because guess what? We in some real stuff. I'm telling you, I see demons like I've never seen them. I feel witchcraft like I've never seen it. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm getting ready to show y'all a lot of things up on here. I've been God been having me do. Um, about witchcraft. I've been doing a lot, a lot of studying. Do y'all know there are 16 different types of witches? Let me tell y'all something while wow, this is imperative. We are children of God. So the spirit of God falls down on us and the spirit comes out of us, right? So everything is spirit. You have good spirit and bad spirit. The the spirit of the enemy, let me tell you all the killing, all the chaos that is done through witchcraft. Which they cut themselves, they do necromancing. What is necromancing? Most of the movies that y'all see, they're summoning Hitler, the day people. Y'all think it's a game. This world is evil. It is run by evil people. As a matter of fact, all you got to do is read your Bible and know that the devil came to earth and the, the Bible says, whoa, he is among you. That's why he says, you are not of the world. Do not be conformed to this world. Have we listened as a church though? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you some good stuff. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful what you let in your spirit. And be careful not to lie before the Lord thy God. Let me tell you something. Since I've been on Facebook and since I've been preaching, I ain't never lied for no money. I ain't never lied to get no money. I ain't never hooked and crooked to get nobody. You don't hear me. And if I ever made a mistake, I'd get up on here and say it. I ain't finna lie about nothing. Because y'all gonna know anyway. The Spirit of God gonna tell you. And truth be told, the Spirit of God will tell you. You see, when you are before the people, then that means that you are committed to the people. So whatever you do in public, and you got to do it in public. Whatever you do in private, you do in private. So if I'm up here, then I am obligated to tell y'all the truth. And if not, God will expose me and anybody else. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah to his name. That's how that's happening. But people don't want to do that no more. They want to hide, they throw that rock, hide their hand. They want to act like they're not going to get exposed. Honey, sooner or later, you can just wait for it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So we, we still on my journey. So I said, God, and I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all know me from 2014 to now. Well, actually, I think I joined 2009, but y'all really didn't know me then. I, had, I remember I had like seven likes. I was like, God, you sure I'm a prophet. But I'm getting ready to say something. You never knew me in 2003. In 2003... The anointing on my life was so heavy, and I'm not bragging. I'm trying to tell y'all something because I'm coming back around. When I walk in a place, people run up. Who are you? They say fire was in my eyes, and I remember that. I don't know what happened. I, I think I stopped being hungry, started listening to people, and it was a lot that I went through. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. I feel that same anointing coming back. They in trouble. They in trouble. Oh, they in trouble. That's why I've been so quiet. Don't worry, I'm coming. By the power of God, like I ain't, I, and I, I feel him. 
I feel him more than I ever felt him. You don't hear what I'm saying. So it's going to be greater. But it's not just me. Hallelujah. The remnant. I'm telling you, whoever is the remnant, I feel a great anointing coming up on the remnant. I'm talking about supernatural power. And they're not going to like us in this hour. But I'm telling you, God said my church came in power and we're going out in power. He said power of the Holy Ghost. The day shall rise. Limbs shall be. Uh, I'm talking about grown back. We will see for real. We will hear for real. I'm talking about the power of God. Hallelujah. So these things must happen. Oh, Pharaoh, you don't understand. He said, Pharaoh, I made you for this day. Hallelujah. Because without Pharaoh, you can't see the real power of God. Without all that evil, you can't see the real power of God. It's about to happen. Hallelujah. So don't get it twisted. Just get ready, God says. Get ready, says the Lord. Get ready, says the Lord. Get in your Bible because they're going to take them Bibles. Martial law is coming. I'm telling you, I don't know when. Martial law is coming. They're getting ready. Why y'all think? Let me tell you something. All those hits out there, people killing people, that ain't people like you think. Some of that is people are being chipped. Because when you are chipped, RFID, with that chip, you can be like a robot, do anything they say do. Why you think people just doing stuff and then they don't remember it or they think demons did it? They probably don't remember it. Y'all ain't read it. That's called MLK Ultra at the same time with that chip. Let me tell you something. Things are happening uh, on a level that really you can't conceive unless you're in the spirit. That's why people say, oh, they're crazy, whatever. You're going to see how crazy it is when they come down because these people are not playing. They have waited for this for hundreds of years. You think they're going to let somebody stop it? And the sad part is Revelation says that it will be. So there's nothing you can do. But the good thing is we win in the end. Oh, come on, somebody. Write it in the comments. We win in the end. But until then, you got to be strong with I'm trying to choke me, excuse me. You got to be strong in the Lord. You got to be strong in the Lord. Get in your Bible, read your word, stay, stay untainted from this world. This world is trying to taint everybody with sex and money and everything, drugs, everything. You got to guard yourself. This is not a game. You have to test every spirit by the spirit. I don't care who it is family, friends, husband, wife, sister, brother, daughter, son. Watch. Straight up. All right, God bless you, God bless you. I love you all, I miss you all. I, I, I've been on the backside, and I see why. Because I'm telling you, Remnant, we coming. We coming and we gunning. Not literally, I'm talking about in the spirit. We coming and we gunning. I ain't even lying, straight up. Because God says that I have 7,000 that haven't bowed down to bail. We ain't gonna bow down for money, no sex, no drugs, none of the stuff that people doing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.